This is an example of a color sensing lab for advanced mechatronics at Plaza High School. Uh, we have again a pickaxe microcontroller, a computer on a chip that's the base of the operation. Uh, we use it as the base for most labs that we do. Uh, the point of this lab is to show students how to interact or how to interface an LCD display uh, with real-time uh, sensing values. Uh, so inside this tube we have an RGB LED. When I press it you'll see uh, the different colors come on. So it shoots out red, green and uh, blue light. We also have a light sensor or more accurately a photoresistor inside of it that will read the reflection of each of those colors. When you look at color theory, uh, especially for TVs, computer screens, uh, any color that you associate with uh, computing or photo, all colors are a combination of those three uh, different primary colors. So for example, if I shoot uh, the LEDs off the red surface, the red is going to reflect when the red LED is on, but it's not going to reflect off the uh, blue and green. So based on the real-time values that I'm sensing back, I can predict what values I'm seeing. So uh, let's see if this guy works. So I'm going to put it on the uh, white uh, pad here. White should reflect all the different colors. So I should see high values for my red, green, and blue. And based on my numbers and my programming, it'll predict then or tell me that it's a white surface. If I go to my black surface, all the numbers will be very low. Blacks doesn't reflect very much at all. And it'll tell me that it's black. If I go to my orange surface, uh, the red is going to reflect off a whole lot, green reflects off a little bit, and the blue not so much at all. And again, based on those values, it's going to tell me what my color is. So again, a, uh, an example of how to interface real-time values uh, to an LCD display and mix that with predefined messages. If you